Hey, but to Rome, welcome back to Dark Souls. So last time we saved Private Logan, then we frankly went and died a whole bunch of times to Seath and eventually beat him. Because that's what I do. I die. Anyway, you may remember last episode I alluded to the fact that we are going to need more Dragon Scales to upgrade our new badass magic sword. So that's where we are going now. The bulk of the uh, Dragon Scales in the game are in the Ash Lake. So we're going to the Ash Lake, even though I detest getting to that place. Because you have to do a lot of platforming to get there. And I am god awful at platforming. I will probably fall to my death. But first things oh, first, let's are. get Crystal Soul Spear. It's been a while. Or were you just here? This fascinating place. Defeats my sense of time. Okay, so if you paid attention to what he said there, he's kind of alluding to the fact that he's losing his mind. More about that later, but first, let's get this puppy. Now, we cannot use this yet. You need 44 intelligence, we only have 40, but we're gonna buy it now. We'll come back for home in Crystal Soul Mess later. Uh-huh, that's absolutely fascinating, sir. Excuse me, I have to leave now. Okay, let's go. Okay, wrong button. Let's get the hell out of here. Now, like I said, gotta go to Ash Lake. The way you get to Ash Lake is basically at the bottom of Blight Town. Instead of going to the right to get to Quaylog's Lair, you go all the way to the left. There's a giant hollow tree. You gotta go down that tree, and at the bottom of that tree is Ash Lake. So, we are going to that goddamn tree, and I hate that tree. It's gonna suck. I'll see you when we get there. Okay, we have a ride. Now, I want to preface this by saying I don't dislike this place because I think it's bad. I actually think it's cool as hell. I just dislike this place because I'm awful at platforming and I have no goddamn idea why. Particularly in 3D games. In 2D side scrollers, not half as bad, but still pretty bad. But uh, 3D, I've always been awful at it and I have no idea why I am so bad, but I just am. Anyway, you may remember last time we were here, we went through two illusory wars and we went down, got the Chlorinthry ring. Chlorinthry, Chlorinthry, not entirely sure how you pronounce it. Basically the ring that restores stamina. We went and grabbed that, then we went back again. This is that tree. We have to go all the way to the bottom, and there are so many places where you can just slide off and die. And I'm not entirely sure that I know where most of those places are, so this is going to be a lot of trial and error. There is a hell of a lot of booty to grab on the way down here. I don't think there's anything too important again. It's mostly just soul consumables, and there is a whole lot of tiny chunks down here, like red, blue, green, white, yellow, every color of the freaking rainbow. Got no real interest in those, but I'll grab them if I think I can, but again, I might just slide off and fall to my death. Also, the other dangerous thing here is there's a whole bunch of basilisks. You may remember those from the depths. Basically, they breathe a sort of smog everywhere, and if you're in that, your curse bar will start to fill up extremely quickly. So if you have a tiny curse bar, these guys can curse you very, very quickly. Particularly this spot down here, there's three of them here. You don't, see? There's already a curse guy. You don't have much room to move. And if I get cursed in the game, it's usually right here against these three. I'm hoping because we have, go, oh, good lord. I'm hoping because this armor is good curse resistance and we have a reasonable amount of humanity, we should be okay here, but yes. Dangerous as crap. And yes, this is what the magic sword does with the R2 attack. You shoot a giant freaking Legend of Zelda sword beam. It's absolutely goddamn amazing and I love it. Come here, you silly bastards. There we go. No, 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 no. Get out of that. Are they all dead? Okay, I think they're all dead. Thank God for that. Okay, let's get out of here, shall we? Now, again, it's kind of amazing here, although not really. Mostly it's just a straight, you know, path down, but sometimes you have to wrap around, go up and get up, get up and get down, whatever the hell you want to call it. Up the sun, down, rolling around to see where the bad guys are to be found. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Damn it. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You just slip off and freaking die. God, I hate this place so much. Okay, so I gotta get my souls back now. Well, shit. That also means I've gotta go past the three Basilisk buddies again without my humanity, so I have a lot smaller curse bar. This is gonna suck. we made it back alive, let's not make the same damn mistake again. Now, the thing I forgot to mention is there's a whole bunch of crystal lizards down here, like a lot of them, and I believe some of them can actually drop titanite slabs. I don't think it's a guaranteed drop, but uh, I think these are some of the only ones in the game that actually can, so yeah, you might want to bear that in mind, but I am no expert at this section. Like, I really, really am not, because it's platforming, and I don't do platforming. Damn it! No, 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 no. Oh, you little bastards. Almost had him. Okay, we're alive. That's what matters. We almost won, but we are alive. Hey, and this is the ladder. This is the way you are supposed to come down, but just like everything in here, you can just drop onto different branches and shit, but again, you gotta be careful, because some of them will not allow you to stand on them, and you will just slide off and die. There are so many goddamn traps in here, it's goddamn ridiculous. 
Okay, so there's going to be a bunch more Basilisk buddies down here, so let's just take them the hell out. As long as you take your time, don't dick around, stand in the cloud of crap, and just take them on one at a time if you can, and be quick about it, you should be fine here. But again, I highly recommend if you are going down this place, wear armor with good curse resistance, like Lortrex gear, or the Maiden gear, or the Dingy robes. Any of those are going to be decent. I think Lortrex is the best one we have, that's why we're now plus... It looks kind of cool and it somewhat sort of kind of not really goes with the helm. I'm gonna say it goes with the helm, goddammit. We look stylish. We also look goddamn ridiculous, but we look slightly stylish and that's what matters. It's all about style in, you know, dark, bleak, death times. Duh, there we go. Okay, I think this might be the last one before the way down. Not entirely sure. And there's another curse guy. Holy shit. Okay, we're in the smog. That's not good. Okay, we're fine. Kind of scary, but we're fine. Boom, son. Damn, I'm trying to kick him. What the hell ever? There we go. <laughs> Not the way they just shatter into a million pieces. Apparently there's another basilisk. You sneaky son of a bitch. What the hell, buddy? Die! Look, there's another dude down here as well. Apparently he got cursed in the corner. That's probably why he got cursed. He probably got traps. Yeah, don't stand where that guy stood. Anyway, speaking of the magic sword, I know I'm just completely changing the subject here, but I just remembered. The sort of sword beam that I can do with that, you gotta remember, if you're one-handing it, it will take 20 durability from your weapon. If you're two-handing it, it will take 40. There is, however, an item in the game called Repair Powder. You can buy it from the first undead merchant, the one who you can kill for the Uchi Katana, or you can also buy it from, I believe, the mushroom in the DLC, Elizabeth, or whatever her name is. So, yeah, I suggest if you're gonna use this, particularly for P- Oh, shit! <laughs> I slipped off again! You bastard game! God, I hate this platforming section! Okay, so we're gonna run back again. Anyway, what I was saying about the sword. If you aren't gonna use the sword beam, carry repair powder. It's not very expensive. Stock up on that shit. Okay, anyway, I'll see you when I get back to where I freaking died. Yeah, we go. And by the way, in case you're wondering why I'm not turning human when I die, it's because there's actually no boss in Ash Lake or the Great Hollow, so... We couldn't get invaded here even if we wanted to, so it's just a huge waste of humanity. No, 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 okay. We're alive. Stop doing that. I really should... <laughs> that mushroom guy fell off. I really should learn from my mistakes, but damn it, you can't lure me with booty. I have to go and collect it. Anyway, I guess we missed that one. We can always get it later again. It's just like a tiny chunk of some kind, I'm pretty sure. Not a huge deal. Jump attack. Yeah, suck on that, you little mushroom bastard. Okay, so we need to get out of here, because those giant mushrooms... They can probably one-shot me, and I'm not kidding when I say that. They hit so damn hard, it's goddamn ridiculous. And they have like two or 3,000 HP. They are not to be dicked around with. The little mushrooms here, by the way, are aggressive. Unlike in the forest, which we haven't been to, but later in the game, they're in the forest, and they're not aggressive there. And here we go. The Ash Lake. And God, I love the music in this place. Okay, so two important things to note here. One over on the left, there is a giant bloody Hydra. That is referred to as the Black Hydra. He is much tougher than the other one, and I believe he will give us two Dragon Scales when we kill him. So we are going to have to kill him, and it's going to be dangerous as shit. Mostly because of the deep water, plus he hits a lot freaking harder. He is no pushover, even though you might think so. Also over here is a bonfire. This is where you will finish Sigmire's questline, but of course, we haven't done the rest of it, so it's not actually here right now. But yes, this is where his questline ends, right over here. Okay, it's rest here just in case we die. Now, there is a cool little easter egg to do with the Hydra. I'm not going to do it, mostly because it will probably get me killed several times to do the damn thing, but if you just try and run away from the Hydra and you run some way towards the end, the Hydra will follow you and then jump across land and land on the right side of the water. It looks badass, and you can see the whole of the Hydra, but uh, yeah, he will probably kill me many times before I get there safely because his water jets dangerous as shit. Like, they really, really are. Speaking of which, yeah. Just, yeah, we gotta run up there quickly before he attacks us. What the hell is he doing? What are you looking at, buddy? What is he looking at? The hell is going on? Okay, oh, da, 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 da. okay, that was very strange, whatever. Bring it on, you big motherfucker. Come on, buddy, attack me. Come at me, bro. Why aren't you coming at me? There we go. Oh, shit. Okay, that's not good. That's very, very bad. Apparently, my best shield does not block their attacks, so, uh, yeah. We cannot even block them and then counterattack, so... We're gonna have to get out of the way of the damn heads. And apparently that's not gonna be very easy. Well, shit. Okay, we need to start cracking skulls here immediately. Come here, buddy. Now, the one good thing about this Hydra, he comes very, very close to land. So, shit. Okay, we're alert. He comes very close to land, so if you're careful... Did that hit him? I don't think I actually hit him. You son of a bitch. Anyway, if you're careful, you can actually lock on and shoot him from this distance, but uh, you need to be right at the edge of the deep water, and he needs to be very, very close in. You can just barrage him. Yes, okay. One head down. This might take some time. I think our best bet here is just going to be wear out his HP, because uh, cutting off these heads when we can't block the attacks, not going to be easy. However, if he hits me, he can easily knock me into the deep water. Shit! 
Okay, we're fine. Which, uh, yeah, that would just be the end of my life. And, of course, he's going to get all his HP back if he does. So, yeah, we don't want that to happen. I don't know if he's going to reach him, but damn it, we will try. They might go for the heads at the very least. Come on, buddy. Come here. There we go. Oh, shit. Okay, we hit him. That's good. He's already losing a lot of HP. So, we are our bestest, but, uh, damn it, we are kind of winning this fight, all things considered. There we go. Okay, one more shot, and he might actually die. Might be two more. Hey, for once, we actually avoided the hits. Speaking of which, oh, come on. You bastards. Come here, bring those sets in. Why are you going out to see, you son of a bitch? Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just going to shoot giant blue balls of death at you. It will be painless, I assure you. There we go. Okay, one more hit. Okay, maybe two more hits. Whatever. Come on, buddy. Here we go. And the Hydra is down. Thank God for that. Believe it or not, that could have gone a lot, a lot worse. And like I say, we should get two Dragon Scales. Yes. There's another one over here, and I believe there's two or three more on our way over to uh, something on the other end. I'm not going to spoil that for anyone that doesn't know, but there's a really, really badass covenant that you can join on the other end. I'm not going to spoil that because we're going to see it in a minute, but yes, trust me, it's freaking awesome. The covenant, not so much, but uh, the way you join it, it's really, really goddamn badass. Now, here's something I think is really cool about the Ash Lake. If you look everywhere, you can see giant arch trees off in the distance, just like the one that we climbed down to get here. And you may remember if you saw the opening cutscene, it says the first things to exist were dragons and arch trees. What do we have down here? A whole bunch of dragon scales and a lot of things to do with dragons like this giant skull over here and ash trees. The reason for that is because the Ash Lake is actually the very bottom of the world, so it's almost like a lost world down here. It's like the most untouched, most natural place in the game. At least, that's the way I look at it. So yeah, kind of freaking awesome. Okay, so I don't think we're quite going to have enough dragon scales to actually fully upgrade this weapon. I'm trying to think how many we need and how many we're missing. I know there's at least one, maybe two in the painted world, so we'll go grab those later, but... Uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure where else we can get some. I know you can trade an item to Snuggly the Crow to get at least one, but I still don't think that might be enough. I think we might need to farm at least one of them, maybe two from the Blue Drakes back in the Valley of the Drakes. And I'm not looking forward to that, because good lord do I hate those guys, but uh, yeah, if I have to do that, then I have to do that. And yes, there are giant clan people down here, just like back in Seath's boss room, or at least, you know, outside his boss room. Now, I don't know if it's just the lighting in the crystal caves, but to me, the ones in the caves look more crystally and blue, whereas the ones here look more colorful. Again, it might just be the lighting in there, I have no idea, but uh, it would make sense that he's probably experimenting on them as well, because there were crystal hollows, which were just like normal hollows, but kind of blue. So, yeah, that's my theory. I think the ones in the caves were somehow altered. But who really knows? That's my theory, goddammit. Okay, so to get this last dragon scale, we are going to have to go very, very close to the deep water here. I hate doing this. Like, oh, guts. That's always scary as shit. Don't fall in. Careful. Okay, now walk back very carefully. Okay, I think we're fine. Good lord, I hate going near the deep water. It is scary as shit. Maybe because I think I nearly drowned when I was a kid. Frankly, I have no idea why, but I just don't like that stuff. It's deep and it's black, and I've died to it far too many freaking times. Okay, so there is another hollow tree here. I believe there is a great magic barrier miracle in here. This is not the same thing we put on our shield. It's actually a miracle, which means you cast it on yourself. So it literally just makes you immune to magic, or at least very, very close to being immune. Like, you do almost no damage to someone that has that stuff on them. It's regard damn ridiculous. So yeah, I guess we'll grab that because we are going to get some faith eventually. Don't really know when. We're going to need another four intelligence level so we can use the crystal soul spear. Then I guess we'll get a little bit more HP and stamina. Once I think we're okay on that, we'll start to get some faith. So then we can start using some miracles and kicking some freaking ass. Not that we weren't already. Yeah, suck on that, you giant mushroom son of a bitch. God, I hate those guys. I have died to them so many times. I'm not kidding. They hit so freaking hard. It's ridiculous. Okay, so to get to the Great Magic Barrier, there is a hollow log over on the left, and we have to drop into that. You can literally just land in it without falling into the deep water. Yes, that one down there. Scary as crap. Careful, and... Okay, we're fine. Good lord, I hate making that drop. Okay, so I believe Great Magic Barrier should be just up here on one of the mushrooms. I think we could see it on the way in. Yes, we could. There we go. Okay, let's get out of here. Wait a minute, where the hell am I going? We can't go this way. <laughs> There's just a hollow log out there. The hell are you doing, brain? Okay, God, I wish we had some Estus. I think there's only one more enemy left. I think it's a clan nude that's somewhere sort of buried in the sand. You can just about see him, but yes, I see him over there, in fact. Okay, let's go kill that son of a bitch. As long as we don't die to him, we will be fine, because I'm pretty damn sure that is the last enemy here. At least I think so. And yes, your eyes do not deceive you. That is an extremely small zigzaggy path with deep water either side. I don't think I've ever fallen in here, but it's still scary as shit, because for some damn reason, just running in the straight line sometimes is not very easy for me. I don't know why I suck at platforming of all description. Boom, son. 
God, I love the Legend of Zelda sword beams. You want another one? Oh shit! The hell happened there? Oh, what the? What just happened? I, I don't know what happened. It looked like he flipped upside down and then at me, but didn't do damage, and then I came out of his mouth. That was very strange. Okay. Well, we're alive. That's what matters, and he's dead. That was very strange. What the hell happened, man? Okay. That was some weird shit. Okay. Anyway, whilst we're along here, not doing a whole hell of a lot. Since you know the theme is dragons, I watched uh, The Hobbit 2 yesterday. Don't worry, I'm not going to say any spoilers, but uh, trust me. If you put off seeing it because you didn't like the first one so much, personally, I really liked the first one, but you know, I get it was really slow paced and there was some crappy singing and stuff. Trust me. If you just want action and, you know, giant monsters and shits, the second film, goddamn amazing. Holy shits. I would genuinely say, I think personally, I preferred it to the Lord of the Rings movies. I wouldn't say that about the first Hobbit film, but the second one. It was awesome. Trust me. Go watch it. Okay, some time later, we are almost here. Holy crap. That took freaking forever. And yes, this is why I want the Lord's Vessel, so we could just warp out of here. And there we go. There is a giant bloody dragon down here. And as you might imagine, he's not aggressive, because if he was, he'd probably have killed us by now. This is the Everlasting Dragon. This is really technically, because he doesn't really count, the only true immortal dragon in the entire game. Because again, you got to remember, the whole kite, wyvern, or whatever the hell you want to call it, the red one on the bridge, not actually a dragon, just a giant bloody drake, and you can most definitely kill that. This thing you can't kill, and as you can see, you can just cut his tail off and get the weapon. He doesn't give a shit. And you can join his covenant, and if you level up in the covenant enough by giving him enough dragon scales, I think you need to give him 30, and get an item called the Dragon Body Stone, which can turn your entire character into a giant bloody dragon. And it's kind of freaking awesome, because you can punch really hard, and it's fun as hell in PvP. Okay, so as I suspected, we do not have enough scales to fully upgrade this weapon. Well, shit. Okay, so we need two more. Like I say, I'm pretty sure there's at least one in the Painted World of the... In fact, I know there's at least one in the Painted World of Ariamis, but I don't think there's two, so... We're either gonna have to farm the last one from one of the Drakes in the Valley of the Drakes, or we're gonna have to trade something to Snuggly. The problem is, I think when you have to trade to Snuggly, it's kind of rare or a pain in the ass to get, so... It's probably a lot easier that I just go farm the last one, so... Anyway, guys, I think next time we'll go take on the Painted World of Ariamis. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I always appreciate it. Like, and I'll see you guys next time for more Dark Souls.